In this video, I'm going to talk about the muonic emission. So the muonic emission is defined as the emission of the electrons of the cathode rays from a hot metallic substance. The emission of the electrons of the cathode rays from a hot metallic substance. And an example of uh, the muonic emission is the emission of electrons from a tungsten filament. So when uh, a high voltage of electricity passes through a tungsten filament, it produces uh, electrons. And that production of electrons is referred to as the muonic emission. Then uh, the other thing that you must know on the on a thermionic emission is the cathode ray oscilloscope, which is which is abbreviated by CRO. So the definition of the cathode ray oscilloscope is, uh, is that uh, the cathode ray oscilloscope is an electrical device that is used to investigate electricity in an electrical uh, circuit. It is an electrical device that is used to investigate electricity in an electrical uh, circuit. That's the definition of the cathode ray oscilloscope. Then uh, the cathode ray oscilloscope is made up of uh, three main parts. It's made up of the electron gun, the defecting system, and the fluorescent screen. Uh, then uh, the other thing that you must know on the cathode ray oscilloscope uh, is how the cathode ray oscilloscope works. Uh, how the cathode ray oscilloscope works or operates and uh, the function or the function of the parts that forms uh, the cathode ray oscilloscope so how does a cathode ray oscilloscope works so when a uh, electron beams when electron beams are produced by the when the electron beams are produced by the electron guns they are diffracted by the diffracting system and when they reach uh, the frozen screen they are going to grow so that's how the cathode ray oscilloscope works then uh, i said earlier that uh, the cathode ray oscilloscope is made up of uh, three parts the electron gun the diffracting system and the frozen screen so the electron gun is made up of the cathode the grid and the anode the diffracting system is made up of two plates, the X plates and the Y plates. Then the present, uh, the present uh, screen is uh, it just contains uh, a vacuum space. So uh, the the next thing that I'm going to talk about are, are the parts that forms the cathode ray oscilloscope. So the first part that forms the cathode ray oscilloscope is the filament. If you see in, in the diagram, there's the filament at uh, the beginning of the cathode ray oscilloscope. So the function of the filament is to heat up uh, the anode, is to, is, is to heat up the cathode. Then the function of the cathode is to produce electrons through thermionic emission. Then the function of the grid is to control the amount of electrons that passes through it. That's why it is referred to as the brightness controller. Then the function of the anode is to accelerate the electron beam. The function of the x plates is to deflect uh, the electron beam left and right or, uh, or horizontal. Then the function of the y plates deflect is to deflect the electron beam up and down or vertically. The function of the frozen screen is to display the wave forms 